Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back in round two of the water comparison video series. I'm going to compare all five of these waters and decide which one I think tastes the best. And the winner is going to move on to round three. So this is going to be really quick. It's just a taste test. I don't have any notes or anything. So let's just get into it. Let's start doing the taste test. The Valley Pure Water right here is from the store Quick Stop Convenience Store. And the interesting thing about this is... The f first review of this, round one review of this, was over a year ago, and, you know, I've just been kind of just delaying it because I haven't had a chance to go back to that store and get another bottle of it to review. But uh, I finally did, so we're finally reviewing it again. Um, I just rewatched my review of this from over a year ago, and I say it tastes pretty bad in that review. And I kind of still stand by that. Um, because it's... I think the water itself is fine. But this plasticky milk gallon container bottle that it's in... This plastic is just no good for water. It gives it a bad taste. So that's that. There's Kick 2.0. This is the caffeinated water there's no smell but there's a slight taste uh, the best way to describe it is like a baby aspirin was dropped in the water someone on Amazon <laughs> gave it that description and it's pretty true okay here's the black water it says fulvic acid in it. I think that's what it's called. This has a pretty sweet taste to it. Anyone who says that all waters taste the same should go back and forth between these two. Look how, look how similar these bottles are. But it's like almost identical. That's weird. But uh, if someone says all water tastes the same, they should go back and forth between these two because there's definitely a difference. This has like a sweet taste to it. I'm going to go ahead and just eliminate Valley Pure and the Kicks. Yeah, Kick 2 water. Because so far, this one tastes the best. Here is the. Blue can water. This is water for emergency storage. So it's a very, very like unique sound. Normally, every time you hear that popping sound, you hear the sound of carbonation from a soda. But it's interesting with uh, you know with water, you hear the popping sound, and then it's just silence so instantly after that. No smell to this. This is a pretty good one. This is a pretty good one. A very slight taste of, uh, of aluminum, of, of metal, but it's not strong at all. This is maybe the fourth or fifth water I've had from a metal container, and out of all of them, I would say this is definitely the best tasting metal container water that I've had. Yeah, I'm going to eliminate the black water. Uh... Because the aluminum taste is less strong than the sweet fulvic acid taste of this. I wouldn't even say this tastes bad. This it tastes perfectly fine. Just when I think of water, this taste of water comes to mind before this taste of water. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not describing it. Well, but 
Here's the Trump water. It has like the, you know, the taste of a Niagara bottle of water. Or maybe, um, Nestle bottles of water. The soft taste of water. All right, I'm gonna say that the winner is the, the blue can. It's really just my own personal opinion, and it might just be my, it might be might just be my own personal taste at the moment. Maybe if I did the same review a month from now or a month ago, maybe my personal opinion will be different. But for right now, I would say that the the blue can uh, is the winner. This is moving on to round three.